Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for May 8th and 9th, Wednesday and Thursday, for my Pisces. Hello, my Pisces. Okay, we're going right into our short reading. Um, you know, my long reading, May 16th through the 31st, is posted. Please take a look. A lot of good stuff coming for you. But this is the short reading, so I just use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the cards with Reiki energy. And this is a general reading. It may or may not re resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Now, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and click the bell on the bottom for videos. It does help my channel to grow, and I, you know, and I would appreciate it. So please, thank you. Okay, let's go ahead, and we're going to cut the deck and see what we have here. Yes, I feel like things are changing for you. I think that, you know, I, I feel like both your little fishes, and, you know, sometimes you, you know, the two fish, fish, the one sometimes goes up for the oxygen and the other kind of goes down into that murky. I feel like they're both kind of swimming up a little bit now. They're being a little bit more positive. They want to be in that sun. They want to be around people more so. I'm feeling, too, that, um, you know, that you also... There's some people, you know, some Pisces out there. Yes, you're very, very intuitive Pisces. You, you know, I mean, there are things that you know that you just know and you know it. Um, but the thing, and you know, and the thing about that, okay? Yeah, you know, some people say it's a gift. Some people say no, it's not a gift. It's a curse. If you were to know everything, a lot of people want to know, well, what's going to happen tomorrow or the next week or whatever. You know, if you were to know everything, and I don't know who this is for, but if you were to know everything, it would paralyze you and keep you from going further, okay? That's why things aren't all revealed to us, because we our human mind could not necessarily take it. Don't know who that's for? Let's go into our reading. Okay. First card is the Page of Air. Air, of course, is our Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's the thought process. It's the Wi-Fi. It's those thoughts that come into our head. Yes, it's what we were just talking about, okay? Logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. That impulsiveness is, you know, that one, that word is kind of um, drawing me that you're going to be a little bit on that impulsive side. You're looking at opportunities, chances. You're going to kind of, um, you know, maybe not necessarily think out the risks, but at the same time, you're going to be doing something that you want to be doing. Now, these are just general energy, so I give you that as an example. So, challenging information, delays or change to plans, truth delivered without tact. I really feel that it's more a case of <laughs> you doing what you want to do. And sometimes people don't necessarily want that. And you might hear about it. Somebody might say, you know, like, oh, did you, did you go and get the car tuned up. Oh, I didn't want to do that, so I went out for a bike ride. You know, so it is, but it's like, again, it's about you doing what you want to do. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. But, you know, just be prepared that you're going to have to um, face whoever it is you have to face when you come back from that bike ride. Okay, next card. Let's see what this is. The Four of Water. Now, water is your energy along with Cancer and Scorpio. Fluid energy, emotional energy. Um, you know, it, it, it. You know, it's your. It's the energy that you invest. Your. You know, you. You definitely. It's like when you've got something that you want to be a part of. You invest your emotions with my Pisces. Missing an opportunity, discontentment, or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Well, I'm thinking it's more a case of, like I said, you're going to do what you want to do. That's the type of energy. And it might be that you don't necessarily, um, you know, you might bypass some things <laughs> that maybe you're supposed to do. And it's almost like you're going into a, you know, like you're almost having that, um, you know, that, that thought process or not the, it, it's like you're, you're, you know, you're going into kind of a, uh, and I don't want to say fantasy because that's really not it is, what it is, but it's almost like you're thinking large thoughts, okay? And you're thinking large thoughts to the point that you're not necessarily living in the moment or living in the day. So it's like you're playing, you know, you're making plans, you're making, you know, they're large thoughts, not quite yeah, it's just that you're thinking large 
thoughts. It could be future issues. It could be future plans. But it's not what it's not what is for that day. Okay. Let's see what this last card says. The Knight of Water. So again, this is your energy again. So emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, contemplative, falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, the invitation to a social event. So that kind of makes sense to me. I'm not saying that you're going to be getting married or you're going to be getting engaged, but it's almost like you know, the mundane is too mundane for you. And, you know, that's why you're taking your bike ride. That's why you're kind of separating yourself. That's why you're, you know, it's like why you're trying to, you know, surround yourself with what is not the normal. Because you're basically, there's there's things that are coming up. There's things that you're sensing. There's things that you're feeling that are so strong to you that you need to get away from the day-to-day -day life in order for you to process them because they are again they're large thoughts it's like you know and you are that little you are not that little i'm sorry you are that sponge that just that soaks it up and it's hard for you so this day these this, the energy is that you know you know when i say it's hard for you it's not that the energy for these days are going to be hard for you it's just that the energy is such that you are having you know you're you're pulling in such large you know such you're pulling in such large intuition, large, you know, large feelings, such large thoughts, and you know, that you do need to, you know, you need to separate yourself a little bit in order to function. Yeah, okay? Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Because the thing is, you really, when you do this and you take the two days to have this type of energy, it actually you come back actually pretty um, you know, in a better a better frame of mind, a better mood, you feel happier. It's almost, you know, it, it's like you you dealt with it and now, you know, you're you, you kind of put all your little you had the blocks and you put them all in in where they in the order, okay? Kind of a kind of a different type of reading, but I I I kind of understand what this is and I hope you do too, my Pisces. But as always, my Pisces, know that you are loved. Be blessed. Bye-bye.